Hi and welcome to Digital Rank Gear where we bring you reviews and tips about digital rank gear for music production. It's been ages since I put up a video and I apologise for the delay. We've had a few things going on here. First of all, I've had problems with my networking of audio and that's one of the topics that we're going to cover today. And also we just had this minor flooding problem. Don't worry, everything's fine with all the music gear. We didn't actually have any water come in the house or only a little bit come in the house, but Australia has had three periods of El Nina and it has been extremely wet here. So uh, we had some flooding in our area and our house was or property was affected. Uh, and uh, as you can see, a lot of rain going through down our driveway there. So. Um, and coming from the back of the property down to the front. So it's uh, it was a bit of a washout, but luckily not into the house and most importantly, not into the studio, the live room or the control room. So um, all's well. So no need to, uh, no need to stress. So today we're going to talk about how network cabling or ethernet cabling can work in your studio and how I've actually deployed it in mine. First of all, let's talk about my setup. I have two rooms. One is a traditional live room where I've got drums and amplifiers and keyboards and all that sort of paraphernalia. And then I have a control room. S similar setup to basically a traditional studio, but the control room is in a different building. Uh, the control room is 20 meters or 60 feet away uh, and it is connected via a trench for all the cabling that goes between the two buildings. So what are the three ways you can use Ethernet or LAN cable in your studio? Method one for using Ethernet or LAN cable in your studio is covered in the MIDI interfaces uh, episode that I did, which is to transfer MIDI over LAN cable. As seen in that video, I use a Myo 10 by iConnectivity, and that is a device that will support MIDI over Ethernet. A fantastic tool, a fantastic utilization of Ethernet because one thing MIDI does suffer from is long cables where you get latency between node on, node off and how that uh, communication protocol works. So I find, especially when trying to control MIDI from another room, that the Ethernet option is fantastic. If you have large distances between rooms and you have MIDI gear, definitely check out the options for MIDI over Ethernet. Option number two for how you can use LAN or Ethernet cable in your studio is one of the audio over Ethernet options. There are a couple of different protocols in play in the market and they're sort of competing. The types of protocols, you may have heard the names Dante, you may have heard of AVB. Well, I have an AVB set up in my studio and music space. AVB stands for Audio Video Bridging. I use some Mark of the Unicorn gear. And this is an example of a piece of Mark of the Unicorn gear, half rack unit piece, the 624. And it has on the back an ethernet cable by which it will convert the audio in this nice compact little uh, piece of gear. And it will convert the audio uh, into a digital signal and vice versa. So you've got ins and outs and that will send that audio over Ethernet to your AVB setup. Well, this is actually a, usually a box which is in my control room. In the studio here, I have a breakout box which is actually pr by Presonus and Presonus also use AVB. So I'm utilizing both uh, Mark of the Unicorn and Presonus uh, gear for my a AVB setup. Um, that is not without its problems, and I will go into detail on that on another episode. Third way of using Ethernet or LAN cable in your studio or music setup is actually to control computers. And I have this kind of setup myself. I've got two rooms and they're a long way apart. So rather than doing the sprint between rooms after setting up a computer to hit record in one room and dash over here and get myself settled to do a performance, that's not gonna work. So I have a remote control set up in this, in this live room that allows me to control the computer 
in the other room. I use Windows for my recording computer and I have a Raspberry Pi to, uh, uh, just strapped to the back of a normal Samsung monitor, uh, just an old TV that I got given. Uh, Raspberry Pi strapped, strapped to the back and I use the Raspberry Pi with a wireless keyboard and mouse uh, to control or remote control the Windows computer in my control room. It took me quite a few weeks to set this up. I had to get through my own firewalls, but it is definitely achievable. And I've been running this system for about three years now, and I wouldn't be without it. It is amazing being able to control a computer remotely from within the live room here. It allows me to work solo. It allows me to uh, really take some of the guesswork about what's happening on my music computer in another room. It's fantastic. If you have a need for running computers remotely to where you are, remote access uh, and even using a Raspberry Pi, it's definitely possible, uh, is, is an invaluable tool. So there they are, the three ways you can use LAN or Ethernet cable in your studio. MIDI, audio and remote control. I'll just say I have used the tech support for both Mark of the Unicorn and Presonus and I must say Mark of the Unicorn really do take the cake. They have done a great job responding and very positively to my requests for support. Uh, they've got a great ticketing system. Both do. Both uh, have got people who will answer those questions but uh, I think I got a better set of answers out of the guys at Motu. So uh, thank you to the team at Motu for making great gear. The challenges with Motu are actually getting hold of the gear in the first place. There is a chip shortage, which is probably affecting a lot of music gear. Uh, so I actually bought this second hand from someone in Europe, I think it was, and I was able to expand my AVB setup um, uh, thanks, to, thanks to buying second hand. Normally I wouldn't recommend buying sound card second hand, but this was it's a current current piece of gear. Uh, I think it's still current. Uh, and it's, it's, it really matched my needs. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this of use and of value to you. If you did, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I look forward to bringing you more Digital Rat Gear soon.